seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. Oh, that's too bad. I love the clowns, don't you? I've seen daytime television that was funnier. I love it when the little guys get hurt. I figures. <laughs> Custard pies, hose pipe down the pants, then smack. Wait, the are, are we talking kisser. about clan and uh, clank in the kisser? Later. Yeah, I, I don't think he's talking about clowns. He's talking about gay porn stars. Uh, I was thinking mafia hitmen, but you know, hey, some of them got to move like. Custard down the pants, a plank in the kisser, I think. Uh... What, are they attacking us? They mean no. it, monsieur. What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Get mugged. Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet. Flap. <laughs> We are the multi-ethnic angel mob enforcement Templar service systems. Nothing, Guido. Zilch. Guido. Guido and Flap. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Round here, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flap. <laughs> well, I thought they were going to do a dance number there. Yeah. Quick, casual, and two. <laughs> oh, it's a TARDIS. It's a TARDIS getting the TARDIS. That's it. The guy's name was Plantard. It was a clue. Plantard in French means master. Bonjour, couleur. Hi. Where is your ear, lady? I have the address of the killer's hotel. Actually, both of you. If you're Stop. going to pay him a visit, take care. Remember, that guy's a professional. Thanks. I'll be fine. Oh, well, that was worth it. Oh, good. Let's talk to a pianist. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> hello. I'm looking for a man. <laughs> You disappoint me, my dear. <laughs> For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. I thought what perhaps you were looking for a clown. George. George Stobart, man. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. Hey, when I say I had I a stable boy. <laughs> the common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not a big A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-god aristocrat? Everybody wants to be a cat. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans. But don't Norman you Feld. You, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. See, yeah, the blood everybody's may flirting. be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. <laughs> you appear distracted, I'm George. okay, two weeks. Is there any way I can help you? I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. <laughs> Ew, lolly, what, what a day. I'm looking it's for a murderer so to hire. I believe what you're thinking of is Dick. Dick on the tip of her tongue? <laughs> that, was, that was pretty Have risque. Have you come across a man who calls himself Khan? I am familiar with only one person named Khan. Genghis <laughs> Khan, the legendary Mongol barbarian chieftain? No, darling. Kevin. Kevin? Huh? <laughs> I never heard of him. I'd be most surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. Organizes fundraising for the Rotarian. Lovely man. Does he have a scar on his cheek? I really wouldn't know, sweetie. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. <laughs> That doesn't necessarily make They're in turn of the century risque embassy. That embassy I told you about. He went through my pockets just now. All right, shit. Yeah, it's it's like 1970s body hospital. Right. To expect in foreign parts. Foreign parts. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit cards in my underwear. Are you? Oh, Dame Helen Mirren, in a role that will surprise you. No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. 
You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. The word romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cock of arms. Wow. Not at all what I was <laughs> expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to hell I... <laughs> That was... Until last night. I'm, re I'm really just enjoying this character. I, I, like, I know. I, it's hard actually? to comment because she's so much fun. I Mr. Sturbot. Pupus Arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It Whoa. was just as I'd always <laughs> imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those was it a clown? eyes that... He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. Santa Claus. Finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. Term life insurance. Just a gigolo, and everywhere I go. Who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. Ah. Okay. You recognize the man in this photograph? I, I hope we don't have a Arthurian motif. She represented well, the Templars? The lady yeah. is totally deranged. Merlin? <laughs> you mean King Arthur's no, it's, wizard? It's, the word you're looking for is flirtatious. Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. He's the man I've been telling you about. That's the man who spurned me. Spurned who? The man spurned you know is her. Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He, knows the he fake. also uses the name Khan. Khan! I am shocked, Mr. Sturbot. Shaken. But not, not stirred. stirred. A gentleman. <laughs> a man of honor. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Would you like a nose when to remember him by? Him? It was no or more than a man ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. Was it bigger than a bread box? in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? It's not what yes, she said, no, quite. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to Leaked get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with... Speaking of wanting to get your hands on something... Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Well, we've got that thing that go, opens up uh, manhole covers. Maybe it'll unlock it. But when we talk to this guy, he's like... Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? Winner from some unpronounceable Eastern That's Europe. still kind of rude, but very American. Yes, that is me in person. I don't want to bore too. you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious you phone calls, letters yeah. made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. That uh, fountain in the back kind of looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a guy called Plantow? I don't know anybody in Paris. Uh, well, well, now you've made a friend. My name's Why George. George Stobart. We are flirting. It's hard to tell. To I'm, uh, sure you have. She's, like, passive-aggressively playing that piano so loud that I they can't hear each other. Ardo? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marks and Spencer, they are a pleasure and a comfort to wear <laughs> with much... Turn into Hudsucker Proxy. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human, too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg tartos. For what? Pants? Oh. For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. So did he win a Nobel Prize for use of Thanks string and egg help. cartons? Goodbye. I sounds like it. Hanging 
from a brass hook was a key and a plastic tag. Mark looks like he's it was the register of the a little say. Yeah, I was gonna say what wacky stereotype that we're running into now. Have a suit, polishing his nails. If the killer was staying here, he'd used a different suit again. Please don't be terrible. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a That's private good. investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That <laughs> yeah, is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home. No. I'd like to retrieve uh, something from your safe. Oh, well, it's a ah, safe. I'm like, is that a stack of coasters? I see some form of identification. Compton? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I can show you my operation, Scott. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's a vasectomy. some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. Oh, yes. We accept rats. We miss you. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, no. monsieur. Dutch. <laughs> Do you know a man named Plantow? No, monsieur. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. Mm. You say so. We have only just uh, man gunfighters from the 19th century. Yes. I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Uh, so like a this Island and Dr. Moreau kind of are thing? Are you complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. Fair enough. Aren't you concerned that your guests are This being music is kind of lulling answers? me to sleep. No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? Only my oh, dignity. No. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. Maybe deep down we all want to find a clown, you know what I mean? I bet we could stand here for hours and he would never finish that paper. She would never finish that piano. What name? Song, I think. I cannot tell you that. Thanks for your help, buddy. There was no one registered under the name of Khan. But the name of the book now. for room 22 was Merlin. Oh yeah, maybe we're gonna meet the Dutch person and we can buy him off or something. Or, or we just steal their ID. Because Merlin's in 22 and that's 21, so... Hello, George! What can I do for you now? Perhaps a dirty limerick. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh no, it's the key to an empty room. And why, may I it's still ask? a criminal you act, an George. To an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. <laughs> Scout Bonner? <laughs> I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine Don't... way for a boy to get licked into shape. <laughs> uh... Now tell me. Why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. But it's well, not. We know that. How can I refuse? I shouldn't Maybe it's the kind of hotel room that has an adjoining in this door to the next room? But a good dose of English hmm. arrogance might do the trick. She gets her own theme music. Hey, step back a little. You're kind of crowding there. Well, lady, whatever your name was, you're built like a brick shit house. We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. 
good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, she yes, looks very sure, weird mother. from this. See, there's the circumflex thing. Yeah, I was just missing from that one, to you, one that I was looking for, dear. it, I guess. Stop stroking that key. Uh, we should probably go. The music is too relaxing, even when she's not playing. So, uh... We can go into room 21, then knock down the wall to get into room 22. The sign on the door read 22. That's If the tailor's great. description was correct, this was the killer's room. It was a key ring bearing one large brass key and a tag which read Hotel Ubu. When are French is Ubu French? It wasn't the right key for the door. Because it's 21. We know this. For God's sake, George. Now maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. C sharp. Oh, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the Gabriel Knight thing. We're gonna sneak out the window. Looks that way. But first, we've got to go look in a closet and get some rope. Or maybe George is more daredevil. Yeah, this will be fine. The cobbles of the alleyway look very distant and very hard. Oh, I wanted Lady What's-Her-Name to pop up there and be like, What did you say, dear? Well, hello! That's the same room. Pretty close. Very distant and very hard. That's the problem. The it's always one or the other. Than the narrow cot I'd been given at the place I was staying. Oh, wait, it's always, it's never one of. The, damn it! Whatever. <laughs> Where would you go out into the hall? So you could see him. Oh. Yeah, and then we gotta like hide under the bed so we can hear a phone call or some shit. Get in the closet, get in the closet. Kind of feeling in my stomach that would usually send me running to Guess the bathroom. Guess maybe he has psychic intuitions too. I had a lot of kidney stone issues. Not my kidney stones. I just collected them on eBay. <laughs> and then I kept chewing them. Terrible habit. Did he hide himself in the trousers? <laughs> No? Well, thank goodness he got in here with me. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. You're gonna watch him change, aren't what? you? What age is George supposed to be? In those shots, he looked like 50. Yeah, he did look a lot older in the, in the cabinet. Quick, steal his underwear. Okay. Put a dirty Kleenex in there. I couldn't believe no, you're my just when I found two him. items in the pockets of the pants. The first was an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. The second was a pass card which read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Oh, all right. You could probably just leave by the door. Then I set his bed on fire. I hope the room has Dutch people in it now. Now, how would they get in? We took the key. We must have a general pass key. Yeah, but what would they give the Dutch people? Chocolate. Just leave the door, or just leave the window open. Birds might come in and shit all over the place. It's Paris. They don't care about bird shit. Uh, all right, fair enough. 